Okay, this video just really shows you a quick way, a quick overview of how to get organized with your ELN. It can be pretty confusing and it could end up being a lot of pages. So if you're not organized, if you don't have an invite sections, it's going to be really difficult to make any sense to you and especially for us to grade it as well. So there's a couple of points I want to make and I also want to show you how to use um, headings and how to use table of contents in a Word document. And here's just an outline. You can see that, you know, title, name, um, module, topic, and so on. It's just like a Word document without really much formatting altogether. So let's see if we can move that into something a little bit more interesting. So title would be definitely using styles. That would be a title, right? So that would be the main heading of your ELN. And it says here, use cover page. How do you get a cover page? You go to insert and then you go to pages and you say cover page, insert cover page. You can pick and choose a design and I'll just pick this one for now. And here you can fill out the pertinent information and add a picture of what you like it to look like. So it's already starting to look a little bit better. Okay, so this is now the title and the name is now over there. So we don't need it here anymore. Okay. Let's, um, we first need to do styles for each of the topics. So for example, the main topics throughout will be always style heading number one. So again, if you do the drop down, you can choose your different headings. If you don't like it, there are different types of colors as well. You can pick and choose and I'll show you that in a second. So for example, if this is title one, heading one, if you right click on it, and if you want to choose a different color for the first title, go for it. So you can modify the font, the size, and obviously the color. Let's just make it blue and bold. So topic one is now always blue. So it's easier for you to visualize as well. Okay, now we'll probably do the days or the different segments of the experiment as title two. Again, let's make our title to orange because we are here in Gator World. To bold, and you see that it will stay now the same way. So, and an objective, informal introduction, we can give that title three. That's going to be the same thing for each section. Materials. Procedure, resources used, I think that's important as well. Bullets, I make it look a little bit better. And day two would be heading two again. Just an observation pictures. And it get, obviously varies with each experiment. And then we have results, conclusion and connection question as well. What, what does it all mean? Now, how can we use this in the real world? And for my section, I want you to find a research paper that actually uses that method. For example, if you do pipetting, pretty much every research paper will have that in it, even without saying it, because people pipette liquids and do experiments. It's just one of these basic techniques. For the breakout rooms, I also want you to include that information. And you have tasks, goals, outcome, result, and reflection. So just brief description, bullets, nothing big at all. When your peers give the public health projects or your research project, the same matter. Give a brief summary um, and then just again, what have you learned? How, how should, could, could, that, could you have done it a little bit better? So now we have used our styles and uh, now we can actually insert. So we don't need that any, anymore later on. We can leave it in there for now. So to add your table of contents, you go to references, you go to table of contents, and here we go. Here's your table of contents. And if you want to have dots in between, if you want to format it differently, you can say custom table of contents. And for example, if you want to have the dots in there, page numbers, if you only want to show two levels, for examples, that's fine as well. It's up to you, otherwise it can get pretty long. And then it looks like that. So it's up to you in terms of formatting. But you can see that your title one, your topic is always on the first 
with, without indent and then breakout room, public health projects and so on. Again, exactly how you format it is entirely up to you, but keep it organized. Keep it nice and tidy, have a table of contents on there. You definitely want to also have page numbers. So you go to insert and then you go to page numbers and where you, where you put them, it's entirely up to you. I usually put it bottom center and then you say close. And then if you look in, in your overview, it's gonna look already a whole lot better and a lot more organized, you can see. And then also for the table of contents, if you click on it, it gets you right to the section where you left off. For example, if you click, control click, it gets you right to that section. So it's quite handy, it's useful, it just looks a lot more organized and I'm sure you all enjoy having an organized ELN that will be useful for your exam and hopefully later down the road. Okay, so now I just want to quickly show you a couple of examples of students who have submitted really nice ELNs. Um, both of the examples are micro majors, so there may be some slight differences with the experiments that will be in the ELN. But you can see Natalie's, uh, where she has a nice table of content. And then uh, just, you know, inform the introduction, really just what we did. And you can do that during class. You don't have to wait until afterwards. Just do all these things during class time and just put everything in so the results are here and then there's more pictures later on after she completed the work so this is one of them pipetting exercise results again in this case there was no authentication which you are required now to have your uFID on all these pictures that you're submitting as well or your personal identification same with um mariano's elan he was actually a student from peru and you can see the table of contents slightly different. And then just a personal introduction. You know, what does it all mean? How did it work? And how did the, well, how was the experiment being done? So again, each section may have slightly different format, but you wanna be organized, you want to have it look good, and it should make sense to you because this is a learning tool for you for your midterm exam. And hopefully you will collect tools, skills, URLs, and resources that they can use later on as well. Okay, I hope these are good examples for you to see what an ELN can look like.